Hey guys, this is Zergemus2. So, um, in this tutorial, I show you how to break um, uh, geometry into pieces right within After Effects uh, without any help of an external 3D application. Um, I found a technique, and I think uh, some of you already know this technique, um, to break the extruded geometry into pieces. Um, and it actually, this is very easy. The thing is, um, therefore, we need a little, we need the help of a little script, and it's called Voronoi Shatter 2. You can find it on aescripts.com, and it costs something, costs about 20 bucks, but you can name your own price. And uh, it does a very good job because the Voronoi um, Shatter script creates uh, pieces. Uh, next to each other without no gaps, as you can see here. Um, we have a very clean surface, and if we animate the parameters with Element 3D, um, you can see that um, this text is made out of pieces. And I did some experiments with other techniques, like the auto trace function with an After Effects. But uh, it was not very satisfying and too much work, so I decided to buy this plugin. And uh, it does a very good job. So, um, let's jump right into After Effects and recreate um, this effect. Um, first of all, let's create a text. For example, um, Element 3D and scale it up a little bit more like this and with our layer selected we go to layer and create mask from text uh, this is necessary because we need it we need a mask in order to um, get the Voro noise shutter to work so after effects creates a new layer and hide the original text layer and um, now we have our mask that we want. So uh, actually, I will put it a little bit more in the center. That looks better. OK. Uh, we select our mask. And uh, if we have successfully um, installed the plugin, we can find it then under Window. And there it is. And it opens up this window here. And, and now we focus on random. On the random tab, it does a little, it does way more of this plugin, but um, uh, for our um, tutorial uh, this time we focus just on random. Okay, just uh, type in 500 pieces and then switch on this button and click this pick clip shapes here and then generate and cut. It takes a little while to calculate. And here we go. So it does just um, close this. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Um, you know, I typed in 500 pieces, but actually if I see um, the uh, generated mask, I nearly have 220 um, masks, but not 500. I think it's because that um, Voronoi Shatter only takes the whole format of the um, comp of the After Effects comp. For example, if I have a solder with just one mask that fits the comp, then I have 500 pieces. Yeah, but I don't know actually. But anyway, now we have um, enough pieces to work with. All right, so let's close this window. And with our masks, original masks still selected, we don't need them anymore. Just delete that. Yeah, just delete them, I mean. Okay, that looks good. And now um, um, hide this layer and create a new solid. And this is our Element 3D um, layer. Oops. And go to Effect and Attach Element. All right. So um, the first thing we have to do is go to Custom Layer and choose Custom Text and Mask and choose our newly created outline layer here. All right, now we jump to the scene setup 
and just hit extrude and it looks okay uh, not very okay but it doesn't matter okay wait a minute um, first of all the first thing we have to do I mean is we go to the material settings and we zero our be bevel size because element puts a bevel on every shape and we don't want that here okay that looks better but we still have some um, artifacts here or gaps or holes in this case and what we do is we go to the um, geometry tab and we uh, switch off auto path orientation and switch on reverse path winding oops yeah yeah that looks way better okay also um, keep in mind that we have to um, switch on separation separate objects and separation mode uh, so should set be to uh, by geometry and um, if you don't have success with this technique then play around with these little buttons here um, and also the spike filter and maybe also the um, auto normals and invert normals because sometimes um, I get different results depending on the geometry I extrude and um, by playing around with these buttons um, I came to the satisfying uh, results. Sometimes we have a little, as you can see here, a little uh, or here, uh, a little um, more work to do. Maybe we have to tweak the mask itself a little bit. But for me it's okay. It's not working 100% perfect but in most cases it is enough and you should should work <laughs> and you should uh, still keep in mind that uh, we are not in a 3D program in an external. Yeah, I think it does a very good job now, Element 3D and Veroni Shatter. And now we go back, hit OK. Let's create a new camera. And zoom a little bit back. All right. And uh, let's go to the um, element settings, open up group one, particle look, and under particle look we can find the multi objects and hit, hit enable the multi object. And now if we um, playing with these parameters here, oops, not this one, I mean this one here or this one, now we can play around and um, do whatever we want. You can um, watch my other tutorials in which I um, uh, make a transformation between uh, one text to another. And yeah, actually that's it guys. You, um, we have um, scatterized our text just with an After Effects with a little help of a script that is not so expensive. And um, it is way more uh, cheaper when in 3D program of, course, program, of course, and it looks very nice. And yeah, this was a very quick tutorial. I hope I could help you with that. And if you have any questions, then just um, ask a question below and I will answer that. All right, have fun, guys. Bye.